This video is a demonstration of a tool that I've written in Excel to help teach structured query language. The idea here is that we have tables defined here as named ranges in Excel, and that's the data that we'll have students learning to write structured query language statements against. So here's a customer table, employee table. They should just be able to query those directly, be able to see them here, and reduce the amount of overhead there is going back and forth between tools and uh, parts of those tools to be able to see the data that we're working with. So I'm just going to create a new sheet here and put a query in here. Select star from customer and restriction where state equals California. I'll execute that by pressing control enter and that then executes that query against the customer table right here. Uh, let's see that's named sheet 2 so I'll go ahead and change the name here to CA Cust or CalCust, and that now becomes a queryable object as well. So I put another sheet in here, I should be able to select star from CalCust and be able to get that data as well. Star from CalCust. And so that's kind of slick. Um, the whole point here is that it requires no network connectivity. Once we've got the file there, we're ready to do what it is that we do with structured query language. Uh, we can do some more complex things here, of course. So here's a union. Um, so query doing a union, that's wonderful. Um, even like left outer join. I think I've got an example here for left outer join. And so that produces that and just gives the students the opportunity to be able to get very quick feedback without worrying about network connectivity um, and to, to, to learn structured query language.